What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another How to Cop God for this week's release of the Nike Dunk High Dark, 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 Super Dark Pine Green. Almost looks like a black and white panda colorway coming down. I don't even know the official colorway, to tell you the truth. I really, really don't even know the official colorway, but we're here to break down the entire How to Cop God for. We got some site lists pulled up that we are going to go through. Uh, the official colorway is a Spartan, a Spartan green. Now, we all wish it would have been a pine green, but unfortunately it is not. Uh, it is what it is. But I do want to let you guys know, first of all, you know the premium group. I do own a run. You already know all about that. I've been talking about it for a while. Uh, we're having a free giveaway right now on Twitter with Scout app. And if you guys don't know who they are, they're one of the most, the best, uh, spreadsheet organizer for all your inventory. You literally, I literally, all I did, I took my Excel spreadsheet, put it in there, took five minutes to put it in there. Not even took under a minute, uh, convert everything for me and gave my entire, entire portfolio value based on bids and asks on StockX and go. So absolutely elite. We have a free giveaway going on with them on Twitter right now. You'll find in the pinned comment below. So make sure to enter. It takes a few few mere seconds to enter tag a friend retweet like comment and follow uh but yes we're breaking down the how to cop guide for this one and i honestly like these i like highs better than lows i do gotta show you guys on a lot of people don't even know what, what these dunks be looking like but this is an example of what the shoe would look like except you know just spartan green this is an old 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 ass item picked it up from the homie um and yeah i just think they're easier to wear they're also a lot easier to wear in the winter and that's why i like the nike dunk highs honestly pretty solid condition as well uh but it's is it better than the lows to most people it is not most people do like the lows a lot lot more personally myself though, i do like the highs just because once again they're easier to wear cargo pants in my eyes and you can wear them this summer summer with shorts you know i do like that i do like that fit with the uh, high shoes but anyways so we're about to break down the full how to copy with the green screen other than that though i guess that's it And look at this, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to put you guys on to what we got to deal with sometimes. Um, I mean, you guys know if you're doing raffles, you already know how it'd be. But literally, Concepts probably got some of the toughest, toughest questions out there. Undefeated is a breeze, right? But this freaking Concepts always got some tough shit. Right now, the Fragment Raffle just went live. But of course, you know, Time Boy TV Plus did have the answers. Uh, let me make sure we're rolling up here. And we are. So, we're going to exit out of this. That's resell. And as for the sneakers listing, it is up on Nike Sneakers app. Uh, the Dunk High Spartan Green will be retanked for $120 US dollars. Available on September 19th at 10 a.m. So, I got to tell you, boys, it's September. And it's already freezing out here. I think it's like 60 degrees out, 70 degrees out. I was freezing this morning. Uh, the dunk high is back. It's the first dunk high I think we're seeing this entire year. I mean, it was all lows up to this point. And I think, once again, it kind of makes sense as well with the weather. The colder weather highs is more of an appropriate shoe to wear in the colder weather. Uh, that they're starting to, they're going to be dropping a lot more highs. We got Michigan's coming up next in a week after this. So I think they're about to bamboozle everybody with a bunch of highs. Uh, and then the lows, I think, are going to take a backseat burner just until the CPFM release does go down. But as I said, the dunk high is back and this time it's been designed for a kick step entrance inspired by one of the most competitive state schools in the US. This model uses classic dunk elements like a feather light full grain leather upper, OG tooling and a mesh tongue to provide peak quality and comfort and in Spartan green colorway lets the competition know which crew you rep. Uh, pine green, of course, would have went a lot harder. I think it would have been going for a lot more money as well, but it is what it is. Skew code is Z CZ78. No, oh, I can't read it's cz8149-100 and here you guys can see the full 360 degree look of the shoe leathers on point qualities on point same exact material used as the donkey donkey dunk, lows the dunk lows and it's pretty much is the same shoe besides of course clearly it is just elevated and stretched upwards and the nike swoosh is elongated and i i once again i do see being a lot of i just like them more to be honest with you i think i like lows i like a certain time of the season, but 24 7 I have to wear one shoe definitely would be the dunk highs and not really this colorway though. The pine green colorway does go, I mean, Spartan green colorway does go hard. Resale market is up there, and of course, it's a dunk, it will be super limited. It's only releasing in high tier retailers, so I'm gonna break those down for you guys today. Uh, but if you want to know the full site list, full raffle, I mean, not, not really a site list, but a full raffle list, make sure you check out Soul Retrievers. Uh, you just saw it right there briefly, it's where they post a full raffle list and update it when it closes and opens. We're gonna go soon with some of the ones that are open right now. One of them being undefeated, but not undefeated US, but Japan. I expect US to open tomorrow, which is going to be Wednesday, I 
think or it should be Wednesday or Thursday. It'll open up around then. Uh, typically does open around 11 to 1 p.m. Eastern, sometimes even up to 2. I do like Undefeated Japan, though, the way they do the raffles a lot better. Then we go on to Bodega. Bodega does have a raffle open till the 16th. As I said in yesterday's video, a lot of retailers this week are doing very brief raffles. They got a lot of stuff to release. They're doing one to two days per each raffle, so don't get lazy with it. Bodega, I've seen some winners out there, but once again, it's very easily bought at Bodega, undefeated, and uh, are probably the two most botted raffles out there, and plus Naked, of course. Naked, those top, those are like the top three botted uh, raffle sites out there, so set your list, set your expectations realistically, uh, because it's going to be tough to hit these just like the previous Dunk Lows, but once again, I don't see that, that many people going crazy over these like the Lows. Uh, then we go over to Bait. Bait Japan does have a raffle open already. I expect Bait US to open up the raffles shortly, probably within a day or so. Uh, they do not ship internationally, as I said in yesterday's video with the fragments. Another iconic ass shoe dropping today, just like we talked about yesterday. Uh, Retailers that carry Nike products cannot cannot ship internationally. Uh, they did place a ban on that. Uh, then we go on to I think I went I meant I meant to put up Premier Skate. Uh, they will most likely have it via a VIP sale and a non-VIP sale. What you guys can see right here. This is what the Spartan Green colorway looks like with a video. Uh, they also did do a Michigan release with no tray. They're doing a special one-to-one -one release. Actually, this is a fire video. Very, very nice. No, oh, well, one thing that clearly is can get some people mixed up in this video is that this is not an SB dunk, as I showed you previously. Uh, it is a thinner tongue, different sole, and different midsole. You guys can see Michigan and, well, it's two Michigan states. The Spartans is University of Michigan, and Michigan State is the other one. Yeah, I might have it mixed up. I don't know my colleges. I don't, I'm not good with it, uh, but it's either or, and that's why I think Premier is doing a big release for these because they are one of the biggest retailers out there from Michigan. Uh, then we go on to Naked. Naked did close theirs, but also, once again, you don't have a good chance of hitting them regardless if you're going manually. And Clothing right here does have it open. Very low retail compared to what they usually have it. Definitely would recommend entering this ASAP uh, because the fact is... Um, you know, shoot your shot. Just get it done with. Then we got one Ness uh, dropping over here, which will be going to locals only. I think one Ness is uh, Ohio retailer. Or no, it's Kentucky. Uh, I'm mistaken. Right by their headquarters, by Nike headquarters, I should say. Uh, where a lot of stuff does leak out the back door. Uh, but, you know, here, local raffle. Then you got Sasenko dropping in New York City in the pro green colorway. Uh, how to participate very, very easy. Also easily probably bought in. Uh, and then we have resale market over here. Now, a few more retailers I do want to break down is Kith. They'll mostly be having a first come, first serve uh, release online. Nothing in store as per usual. Unfortunately, it is what it is. I wonder when they're going to bring that back their in-store raffles because I do miss those. Even though we haven't won any anything since UNC Off-Whites, but you know, still a massive W over there. Uh, Kith is one of them. Undefeated will most likely drop first come first serve as well, uh, but they'll be doing the raffle. Once again, they might have a few pairs. They did shock drop. Uh, I mean, Jordan ones was a little bit different because uh, that was like a big release in terms of what they got. So the dunks are very, very limited. Uh, other retailers will be very small in terms of how much stock they're getting, so it's not really worth it to even go manually. And of course, the also mighty sneakers. As for resale market right now, that we're going to be on goat for this one. Uh, it is looking pretty pretty healthy. One hundred twenty dollars retail is three hundred eighty dollars resale market. Uh, but keep in mind, if this released in a low version like the pine greens, I feel like they would have been going for like four hundred plus dollars. Right now, these are doing about the same. Uh, but the thing is, once again, this just shows to sh this just goes to show that demand is not there as much as it is on the lows in terms of recent market asks are pretty low already i see asks going down all the way down to 250 maybe at the lowest 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 but that's i don't see it happening anytime after the sneakers release if anything the lowest market i see going down is prior to sneakers release people cop them uh people take l's they go to stockings they go to goat they buy them up only orders come in prices drop down a little bit a little bit uh but then i see them going back up and i do see this being a great investment as well i do think people are going to sleep on the I, know, I mean it's tough to say i don't think people are going to sleep on any dunks at all period like they did on syracuse and kentucky they're not going to let them drop down to 220 bucks but i do see people sleeping on these uh, at first 
first along with other Michigans dropping later this month. The highs, and once it gets colder, more people are going to look for higher top sneakers, and they're going to go for these. And that's why I think they're a wonderful investment in terms of even paying resale. I'd wait till only orders come in. Uh, if you don't want to buy it prior, you could maybe end up saving a bit more money, uh, but it will take some time for them to go up. I see probably three to four months of a solid hold and then selling it after that. But that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with hopefully the Supreme Retail Resale Price Estimations full drop this video uh, because drop list did not come out today. But I'll catch you guys then. Peace.